Hey guys, welcome to Water Baby Tarot by Bomby Spirit. For those who are new or those who have just been hanging out for a while, you guys can call me Water Baby or Rodin, whatever suits you best. So I wanted to get this out there. I was going to do a Bomby Spirit episode on this. I was like, every time I get ready to do a Bomby Spirit episode, a lot of shit goes down. So the next episode might just be um a big episode of every of connecting everything that I've been talking about for the last week or so but I felt like this was really urgent to get out I'm also gonna be doing an energy shift reading this might also come up in the energy shift reading because it feels really intense right now with what I'm about to say so this is just to make you guys aware of parasitic energies and if you if you're a patron of mine you've already heard this spiel but just to put it out there um, to basically make you guys aware of parasitic energies and what's going on within you guys right now. So a lot of people are needing to step into their power. This is something I've talked about for the last week, even longer, I feel like. And as you step into your power, they're basically the, the typical transition of doing this is being really honest with yourself, going deep within yourself. All the work we've been doing the last few months, all the work we've been doing the last year in 2019 and beyond that has basically prepared you for this time, okay? Has prepared you to accept all of who you are uh, <clears throat> and the power that comes along with that. Now, in doing that, some of you guys have made some lifestyle changes. Some of you guys have met some new people, gotten away from people, changed your environments, changed your jobs, and it's kind of like, why am I needing to do this? I just feel like it's right for me, so let me just do this. Well, the truth of it is, you've been feeling the, the urge to get away from certain people, get out of certain environments, get out of certain habits, because there's parasitic energies attached to that. I don't need to get into the definition of parasitic energies and the whole classification of that. I feel like that actually feeds on duality consciousness a little bit, because at, at the end of the day, all that matters is that you aware are aware of parasitic energies and what they do. Parasitic energies feed off of your energy. They feed off of your power. And in doing so, they leave you drained. They leave you in a state of being controlled or being restrained to them in some way, shape, or form. Parasitic energies can be people. They can even be vices. They can be habits. They can be the things that you watch on TV. It can even be... Um, Par like different programmings, right? Programmings and paradigms that we're used to existing in. We're all breaking away from that and feeling the need to because we're all learning to recognize parasitic energies. So like I said, if it's people, it's someone who leaves you drained. It's someone who is very taking, very manipulative, right? If there's no energy flow between you and a, and a person, if there's no like reciprocal give, take, give, take, give, take, that means that flow is stopping between you and this person and not just that, but it can stop in your life and leave you in stagnancy, um, leaving you in a feeling of feeling isolated or feeling a feeling of lack or insecurity or even fear. Anything that feeds that within you, anything that feeds your insecurities, feeds your fear, fears your scare, feeds your scarcity mindset or leaves you feeling isolated or alone. That's all parasitic energy at work. OK, and like I said, this can be people. This can be ways of living. This can be lifestyle choices. It can even be the media that you watch. It's important to stay cognizant of what those are right now because <laughs> these parasitic energies are becoming very aware that people are becoming aware of them. So what happens as a result of that? As you become aware, you start making changes that you need to make in order to literally protect your energy, right? Keeping it for yourself and allowing yourself to flourish and only engaging with people who are doing that same thing. The more you cut off parasitic energies, the more they start to freak out because at the end of the day, they have no power. OK, parasitic energies have no power. They get the power from you. They get the power from controlling you, from feeding off of you and keeping you within their grasp or keeping you within their grip, however you want to phrase that. OK, yes, this can even translate to the grander scale of governments, because we do have a lot of parasitic energies within governments to keep you in that fear mentality, to keep you in a little bit of like a mind control grip and game here so that you don't understand that you really have all the power. <laughs> right us as a collective we really have all the power that's what's going on right now so basically this is just a spiel to say it's time to be aware some of you are already being made aware of this and as you go deep within yourself to explore the realities of your existence and of who you are you're going to become more aware of these energies in your life and how to get away from them and how to cut them out of your how to cut all of that shit out of your life and as you do that you will start to ascend even higher and have more access to these up, upper dimensions and as you do that you will be even more connected to your higher self and you will get to a point where you're going to align with your higher self and you'll wake up to who you actually are i did a video of this on the 3d avatars versus um your higher self right because like there is that story narrative of your avatar you know the meat suits uh the story you came into this with right and how that can impede you from ascending and impede you from 
tapping into your higher self and connecting to your higher self and aligning with your higher self as you connect to your higher self and align with your higher self you will wake up to who you actually are to the galactic being that you are the stars the fact that you're a star seed or not what have you uh it's just important you do that and as we all start to do that people who are connected to us will will also feel the push to do that more and eventually these parasites will have no control or power over any of us and will stop feeding off of us entirely so be aware of the content you watch, be aware of the people you're around, be aware of the environments you're around. Also be aware of like frequencies. Like I think I said this in a video recently of like, if you go to bed, just put your phone on airplane mode. Parasitic energies, they're multidimensional. They can ride frequencies, right? You don't need that near your head while you're sleeping, no less. You just don't need that, it's not necessary. Um, but yeah, this is, I just felt urgent. Like I urgently had to get this out there. I just feel like it's kind of crunch time for this, for all of us to be aware of that. Um, so again, a big indicator is, is there anything controlling you or is there anything that leaves you exhausted? Usually red flags of parasitic energy. People might lash out at you if you cut, if you cut them off and they're parasitic or they have attachments to them. The more you do that, you're cutting off the supply to the parasites and that will also push that person uh, to getting out of that energy and getting away from those energies. Yeah, you might get backlash. People might be upset. You might feel negative energy at times. But when you're feeling heavy energies like that, it's because you're really on the right path and you're about to come into some really awesome stuff for yourself because you're literally taking back your power, taking back your energy and putting it where it needs to go. Okay, I know kind of a big heavy message. You might need to watch this a couple times, but I just had to get it out there. And like I said, I might do a bomby spirit episode of connecting everything that's been going on. Um, I've just I am don't have really have time. I'll be honest, I, I am like running out of time with everything going on in my life right now. But I hope this message serves you well. And I will see you guys soon. Have a really great night. And I'm going to get started on energy shift reading for Mars going into Capricorn and Mercury retrograding through Pisces, which happened on the 20 on the whoa 16th not the 26. That's weird. Why did I want to say 26? That's really weird. I don't know why I wanted to say that on the 16th of February, uh, which was just a couple days ago. So I'm going to get to that. Enjoy your night. Marinate on this. If you're like, huh, <laughs> just marinate on it. If it's triggering you or making you upset, you really might want to marinate on this. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to go. I'll see you later. Namaste.